recycling is critically important right now. The manufacturing industry is in dire need of raw materials to make the products and shipping supplies we need during this pandemic. But it's also important to recycle right. Empty and rinse containers, break down boxes, keep cardboard and paper dry, and set them curbside for recycling. Place masks, gloves, wipes, and other protective gear in the trash. Don't litter or put these items in the recycling bin. Do your part. Recycle more and recycle right. Hello, I'm EPA Administrator Andrew Wheeler. Americans are always looking for ways that they can take action, especially right now. Across the country, businesses are closed or have limited operations due to the current public health emergency. These operations normally generate large amounts of recyclables used by American manufacturers. One of the ways that you can take action is by making sure you not only recycle more, but recycle right. Right now, there is a critical need for all raw materials in the manufacturing supply chain, especially paper and cardboard. During this time, many of us are at home for longer periods of time, getting more deliveries in cardboard boxes, ordering takeout, and generating more material than normal. Because of this, household recycling is more essential than ever right now. That's because items like medical supplies, food, and cleaning supplies are packaged in boxes made from 100% recycled paper. Check with your local recycling hauler to see what materials they accept and recycle what you can. Break down shipping and other boxes, rinse out containers and cans, keep them dry and clean, and put them curbside to be recycled. Doing so will ensure that the manufacturing supply chain will remain open and vibrant. That in turn will keep grocery stores and homes stocked with the essentials needed during this public health emergency. Also make sure to recycle right. Personal protective equipment or PPE like masks, gloves, and wipes, as well as all medical waste should never go in the recycling bin. When you do take trips to essential businesses like grocery stores and pharmacies, please make sure to properly dispose of your PPE by following local and CDC guidelines. Please do your part, recycle more, and recycle right. Recycling isn't just good for the planet, it also supports the American economy. But there's a shortage of paper and cardboard in the recycling chain. These materials are vital to get supplies to our frontline workers and homes. While more of us are social distancing, we're getting more deliveries. Break down those cardboard and paper containers, keep them clean and dry, and set them out for recycling. This will help manufacturers keep essential supplies flowing across America. Do your part, recycle more, and recycle right. Galveston Bay is one of our most productive and rich uh, assets we have in this area. We are so reliant right here on the Galveston Bay for our recreational fishing, for our commercial fishing, for our uh, for ecotourism. It brings billions of dollars into our area. Galveston Bay and the Gulf of Mexico are some of the most biodiverse places that we have in the United States. We monitor American oyster catchers. We have pelicans going over all the time. We have egrets, we have herons. We, as a community, were going out and monitoring for several years sea turtles and nesting sh shorebirds. And as we were going along, we started no noticing the plastic pollution problem. The plastic pollution that was being released in some of the cities was washing downstream through the watershed and would actually end up on the islands where the birds were nesting. Plastic water bottles, beverage containers, caps, uh, a lot of styrofoam. And then one of the biggest issues is monofilament line. And that typically comes from fishermen, uh, it, you know, just discarding their line on the ground. And the largest hazard that it causes for the birds is they get entangled in their feet. 
The other pieces of plastic that are a real problem are the very small bits of plastic because they break down the microplastics. They, birds will actually ingest that. We decided to take a, a multifaceted approach to actually com combating plastic pollution in the area. We know we need to get out on social media because then we can reach beyond our people, the people who actually are impacting us. We also realize that when we do our cleanups, we should publicize what we do and how much we get so people can start seeing small changes cause incremental behavioral changes. When a, site, a public site is noticed with a lot of plastic, either by public reporting it or us seeing it and doing one of our assessments, uh, we select the date and ask for registration from volunteers from Galveston Bay Chapter Master Naturalist and Audubon Turn and maybe some other locations. And normally we have anywhere from 30 to 10 volunteers. In a short period of time, less than nine months, we cleaned up 3,500 pounds of plastic. We had 3,200 direct contacts with kids. We took them on trips. We had them pick up trash with us. And we also taught them, the most important thing is we told them what happens if you don't do this. If we keep on doing this, we're going to, our nature will go out of balance. And when nature goes out of balance, other things happen. And we're able to see the difference uh, there's a lot less plastic pollution for us to take. We're actually able to clean up the entire islands. And then as we repeat and visit those islands, we're able to accomplish more conservation work because we're finally getting a handle on some of the plastic pollution that's been evading us for such a long time. Other organizations are coming to us and asking, can we, can we transport what you did and take it to our area and see, because it didn't cost us anything to do this, which is even more important. It's all volunteer-based, passion-led, and it gets results. Congratulations to the Galveston Bay Area Chapter, Texas Master Naturalist, the first place winner of the 2017 Gulf Guardian Award in the Civic Nonprofit category.